Here are a few examples where the treatment variable is definitely not randomized and further is related to the outcome either directly or indirectly. Uh, so in other words, cases where we would be very skeptical that the average treatment effect is identified. So in the first example, imagine we're interested in the causal effect of road width on traffic. So we're interested in the causality going that direction. Now if we think about uh, road width, road width is not just determined randomly. It's something that uh, you know, city councils or, or traffic planning commissions decide in part based on the traffic level on those roads. So the outcome we're interested in affects the treatment variable we're interested in. Or if you wanted to maybe be a little more precise, you might think about this as separating out the past traffic, which then has a causal effect on road width and also has a causal relationship or at least a statistical relationship maybe through other factors with current traffic as you know roads that had a lot of traffic yesterday or last week are uh, probably still have a lot of traffic this week as a second example, we could think about, uh, for example, whether somebody gets a college degree as the treatment. We're interested in the effect of going to college, getting a degree on wages. So we have college, and we're interested in the effect on wage. But if we think about, you know, why do people go to college? It is not totally random. You can imagine things like family wealth that uh, then have a positive causal effect on whether someone goes to college and also directly affect someone's wage, uh, usually also in a positive direction. So in that case, going to college is not randomized and it's partly dependent on this family wealth variable that also is causally related with wage, the outcome variable we're interested in. As another example, we might be interested in sort of the local economic effect of Walmart building a new store in a particular location. So we have Walmart here, whether they build a new store, and then the economic conditions in the local area. So we're interested in the effect of Walmart on those conditions. Again, Walmart does not just build stores randomly, though. They look at those economic conditions and they take that into account when they decide where they should open another store. So in other words, our outcome, the economic conditions, also affects the treatment variable. Or again, you might think of it more like uh, past period economic conditions and current economic conditions separately. Either way, we sort of have this uh, non-randomized treatment that's related with variables that either are the outcome or are very closely related to the outcome. Uh, as a final example, we're interested in sort of how having a particular type of health insurance affects your health level. So we're interested in the causal effect of the insurance or the insurance type on health. 
Uh, but again, you know, in many cases, you're allowed to choose a new insurance plan each year, and uh, health is usually correlated over time. There are some random shocks, but um, so you can imagine somebody's health, or at least, again, maybe their past health is to, helps determine their choice of insurance plan. So again, we get this relationship where the treatment is not just randomized, but it's very closely related to the outcomes that we are interested in.